Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our market wrap-up for Monday, October 13th, 2008. What a way to start the week. The Dow up 936 points, biggest up day ever in the top five in terms of percentage, and the biggest S&P future move ever up over 100 points. I happened to be on the Florida CBOE today. When that one happened, there was much cheering no one had ever seen before. it before. There's only one way to describe this market in terms of song. How bizarre. How bizarre. How bizarre. How bizarre. OMC provides a soundtrack tonight. It is how bizarre. This, this, is, this is crazy, crazy stuff that's going on. Hey, many smiling faces today, though, after what we've been through over the last couple of weeks. It was nice to have a reprieve from the governor to the upside. But this is quite a reprieve. As I said, 29 advancers, one decliner. General Electric, the lone, lonely, pathetic stock today. GE down about 2%. Our big winners on the day, GM up 33%. Oh, that one was much, much needed, wasn't it? Our friends over at Johnny John up 12%. We had JP Morgan up 90% today. Hey, great news. You know, all the way around overall after, again, what we've been through over the last few weeks. The NASDAQ today up 159, almost 160 points. All right, where do we go tomorrow? Who knows what? A few things I want to learn. Hey, we're all very happy, ecstatic, blah, 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 whatever it is you want to say that people are right now, but you have to be careful. Why? Because the VIX, the VIX is, and under normal circumstances, we'd be like, oh my God, a VIX of 55, 54.99 for those of you keeping track. As they say in baseball, for those of you keeping score at home. But honestly, this level of VIX is still something to be concerned about. What it's saying is, you know what, this is great, but there still is some risk. As we talked about last night, it is expiration week. Expiration week may tend to be a little bit. Uh, skewed, shall we say, to the upside, but you still have some concerns. The, you know, this deal isn't done. We have the Fed coming out tonight with some good news also. S&Ps are up again this evening, 20 as I speak, going into tomorrow morning. But again, we don't want to uh, get too ecstatic, too high, too low. <laughs> as we've learned, anything, absolutely anything can happen with what we've seen in this market. There's been nothing quite like it. Now, Tomorrow morning, we do have the Red Book at 8.55 Eastern. We have PPI on Wednesday. Could be our big mover. We have CPI on Thursday. We have consumer sentiment on Friday. Still plenty of numbers, plenty to be concerned about. All right, I'm Joe Keenahan, Chief Derivative Strategist with Think or Swim. As always, good health, good trading. We leave you this evening with a little all bizarre. Alright, thank you all very much for joining us. Have a great night.